Hey, Shalom, Shalom. This is Tazit Dak from the GMS Los Angeles camp. Coming back in the truth, in the spirit of Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Chacha Kadash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim that's pushing this word, true sincerity. So, looking at a report, it says um, Lebanon plugs into darkness. India faces rolling blackouts. New York City pharmacy shelves bare as the global collapse accelerates, leading to rolling blackouts across the United States, so to say. Right? So, let me give you a scripture. Let, let me start it off here, okay? But this, like, 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 this is nothing new under the sun, all right? I'm going to bring out a little examples, and I'm going to close it out from there. But this is part of the the sorrows okay all right so let me get it out real quick and it's breeze this is matthew Why are people making noise right in front of me Man, people just too noisy all right this is on uh, matthew matthew 24 verse 7 Let me start at verse 6. Matthew 24, verse 6. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. And that's what's going on right now with the Taiwan situation and China. And, you know, America wants to, you know, put their butt in there because they have investments in Taiwan and stuff. So it's going to face, it's going to come to like a, a World War Three type of state, which is going to, is going to lead to that. All right. These are the wars and rumors of war, and especially against Russia with their nuclear arms and these other nations with their nuclear arms. The things on a, on a boiling point right now. So we at that time. See that you may not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. All prophecy needs to be fulfilled. Everything. Okay? It must come to pass. World War Three, the MOTB. All right? Which we preach, which we teach about. Okay? All thing, all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The end is not yet. Okay, verse seven: For nation shall rise against nation. That's what's going on now, and kingdom against kingdom. That there shall be famines. Now, you see what's happening to the ports out there over there in Long Beach and throughout the other ports throughout the Americas. Okay, a lot of these, a lot of these containers are just sitting out there, purpose, purpose, purposely. To create a famine, what the elites is doing, okay? Let's give me. Let me get that real quick. This is um, Micah. Two verse one. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Woe to who? Talking about the elites, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Woe means destruction. All right. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. They've been planning this for years. They've been planning this in their sleep. They wake up. Oh, I have an idea. You know, to put those Israelites into more misery. That's how they feel. All right. The elites want to watch this enterprise. They want this new world order. All right. Let me keep reading. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in their power of their hand. Who gave them that power? The Lord Yahweh Shai. He gave it. He gave that power to the basis of men. And who the basis of men? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. He's the bottom of all nations, man. Okay? All right, so let me get back. This is on Matthew 24, verse 7. And it reads again. No, let's go to 8. No, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilences. What's the pestilence? But what's out there now? You already know about it, man. The 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 one niner, the Cadillac niner. Okay, that's that's the that's the big thing that's going on now, which is also staged. Okay, but this is all through the power and the hand of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. All right, why? Because prophecy needs to fulfill. All things need to come to pass. All right. Let me read. And pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. There's been many earthquakes every day. That they don't want to mention about, but there's earthquake activity. You can get, you go to a site where you can track all earthquakes throughout the earth, man. Every day there's earthquakes through diverse places. All right. Verse 8 All these are the beginnings of sorrows, and we at the beginning of sorrows at this time. Okay. 
you know, and America, Babylon, and Great. You see these power outages that's gonna that's gonna come forth and everything. Hey, that's that darkness. It could be they could stage a fake EMP attack. They could blame it against the Russians. You know what I'm saying? That that's how the workers of Nikri work, man. They devise evil upon their beds. So let's get some examples, man. Okay. This is Exodus, the tenth chapter. All right, verse one. And the Lord, when, when you see the word Lord is in all capitals, that's talking about God himself, Yahweh. All right. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto Moses, go unto the Pharaoh. For right now, we're the modern day Moses brothers. Okay. We out there teaching his word and teaching the truth and, and throwing that vibration out there, that righteous vibration of Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. So we're basically are we basically are going to the gates of the nobles, the Pharaoh. Who's the modern day Pharaoh? Mr. Magoo, Joe Biden. Okay. Go unto the Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and his heart of his servants that I might show these, show these my signs before him. And one of those signs is darknesses. The darkness. All right. One of those signs he just put out there is famine. The locusts is on, on, on crops, on farms, that's been happening. Frogs throughout the, the rivers, on the, the um, rivers turning into blood. Those are one of the plagues of Egypt. Those are one of the signs of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And these signs are shown again, like as the plagues of Egypt as before. Okay? It's impossible for Yahweh to lie. All right? Let me get another one. This is Exodus 3. Exodus 3 verse 20 And it reads Give me a sec Bear with me Okay, be patient And it reads I will stretch out my hand And smite Egypt with all my wonders Which I will do in the midst thereof And, and after that he will let you go But the point is that the Lord it's smiting the modern day Egypt right now. I'm using this as an example because he gonna do the same thing. All right. He's smiting Egypt now with plagues right now. Pestilence. You got earthquakes. Darkness will occur. It will occur when the grid shuts down purposely. Okay. They see the Esau thinks the so-called white man thinks he's doing all this. No, it's the Lord to what to fulfill prophecy. Okay. The so-called white man is being used as a pawn. All right, and he doesn't even know it because why his heart is hardened and he's proud. Okay, let's get with the next scripture. This is Exodus, the 10th chapter, verse 1. All right, and the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and his heart of his certain that I might show these that signs before him, man. All right, well, I read that. Let's go to verse 21. So lock you on that, my fault on that. Verse 21, and it reads, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand towards heaven, all right, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt. See, there was a pure darkness in the land of Egypt that, that those Egyptians, and, and they, they felt it. They felt the darkness. They couldn't even see the stars or nothing. But guess what? It's going to happen here. When the sun and moon be darkened, it's going to happen here. Okay? These power outages they doing, they, they, they practice runs for, 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 for complete takeover, man. All right? But guess what? That's part of the darkness of Egypt, man. The, what's the modern day Egypt today? It's America, Babylon the Great. Okay? How, why did I say it? Because it says in Revelation the 11th chapter. This is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Rome Everything all in one man Okay Um Let me read that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt Even darkness which may be felt Because it's gonna be Really dark I mean pitch black Out there Out, out here in, in um, Babylon the great man That people's gonna feel it They gonna even see apparitions Demons gonna show upon them man It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy man Okay, so this is part of the, the wonders of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. 
Why? Because all things need to come to pass, man. Prophecy. It's all about prophecy in the end of the day. That's why Yahweh Shai said all things need to come to pass, man. So right now we at the tip of the beginning of sorrows. We in the beginning of sorrows right now. You see the plagues. You see the earthquakes. You see uproars of the people. This is an exciting time, man. Really exciting time. Now you got the death scene in October um, 8th, 18th, I believe. October 18th. Come on, people. You better wake up, man, because the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, the king of terrors, is not playing around. He's showing his wonders, and y'all can't even see it. But guess who sees it? The men that's grounded in this word, man. The men of the Lord, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, can see the wonders of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Chariots, earthquakes, plagues, the darkness that's going to occur. We all know that's the hand of the Lord, man. So I just want to do a quick lesson on that. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, Dhamma Odin, to the Apostle and the Elders, Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the whole Fleck Akim. Just pushing his words through sincerity to then. Another video. Shalom.